Hey everybody, I've been asked loads to talk about the benefits of pine pollen. So I've done loads of research, I've got it in my shop, I've got it in my body, I've tr tried it and tested it, and now I want to share with you some of the information that I've learned about the benefits of the amazing 21st century New Age superfood. First of all, I'll say it's not actually a New Age, it's been used for thousands of years in Chinese herbal medicine, so it's nothing new. It's, it's an absolute super powerhouse of nutrients. It's very special. It has over 200 identified compounds and nutrients that are beneficial for the human body. When you take it, I'll show you it here actually. When you take it, you can actually really feel it often, you know. Just put it on your tongue, you can put take it take it with a spoon. Um, and you do feel an energizing effect very quickly and a mood uplifting. Like when I first started taking it, I'd, I'd end up like started to smile and stuff. I just like brimming with like almost, and I just feel like a good head, a rush of like focus and clarity in my, in my head and more energy. But it's very, it's very special. It has all the, it's got vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, B3, B9, folic acid, what are they? B6, vitamin C, E and D, and it's rare that plants have vitamin D. This has vitamin D. This also has another rare uh, mineral, selenium, which is generally found high in Brazil nuts, but usually it's a bit like low, and selenium is a very powerful antioxidant that some people intake for to help their thyroid issues. So the B vitamins are associated with dealing with stress and having more energy. So it's an adaptive type of nutrient. It helps to us to adapt to life. B pollen is considered um, to help our jing levels, our, our, our yang jing, and even help our testosterone levels. If you take it in a powder like this, this is more of a super, super food. It'll help, it's, it's helped used to increase your energy. It's traditionally used to strengthen your heart, to mycin your, and your cardiovascular system to prevent um, heart disease. It's been used traditionally for a very long time in Chinese medicine for that. It's also used to moisten your lungs if you have like a dry cough or like um, if you have like coughing up phlegm or like that type of thing. Um, it's helped strengthen your digestion. So it's got like dozens of minerals. It has it's a very strong high protein source. It has all eight essential amino acids and twenty non essential amino acids. So it's very high for protein. It's great for losing weight. It's great for gaining strength, strength and muscle if you're trying to, if you're exercising. It's brilliant against radiation, and this is something that's very important in today's world with Fukushima and general all the radiation going around with the electromagnetic things, our phones, televisions, the masks, just the general radio waves in electromagnetic pollution, our computers, our laptops, phones, etc. We're subjected to a very high amount of radiation and electromagnetic EMFs that we're not usually getting. So this is brilliant for helping to protect us and to protect our to protect against genetic mutations and genetic alterations and also just generally being like tired out from EMFs. Another thing I'd recommend against EMFs is get Organite. Um, you can see it used to, be, it used to be on my website but I think I might have taken it down but Organite is fantastic against um, protection, EMF protection too. It's like crystals and other stuff, but that's a different story, so check that out if you're interested. Um, so pine pollen is also being shown to be antiviral very strongly. It's been even shown to be like eight to eight to twenty, thirty times, just a really high amount higher than a leading antiviral drug. So that's great for I was reading is that's very good for against like hepatitis or like measles, it's just general viral infections. So bee pollen does help our immune system it's apart from being antiviral. So that's just a really good thing to have. Our immune system is a very important system. Um, so it's also has very strong anti-inflammatory effects. So it, it, it's overall body-wide anti-inflammatory. It has a lot of antioxidants which protect against free radical damage environment, pollutants, etc. Bee pollen also helps us to increase our own natural SOD, which is one of our main 
um, naturally produced enzymatic antioxidants, much stronger than general antioxidants we take inside from eating, etc. Um, it may increase glutathione too. I'm not sure I read that somewhere, but I read in other places they were just mentioning SOD. SOD is helps to uh, helps us detoxify and eliminate what environmental toxins and pollutants and wastes that otherwise would be kept in our body. So um I take pine pollen because it's a superfood. It's like a tonic herb, tonic herb superfood, kind of similar. You take it as an ongoing thing to really deeply nourish your body. And this is full of deep nourishment. I'd highly recommend it to be honest. Because and I'd recommend tonic herbs too. They're the pinnacle of Chinese herbal medicine. I would recommend pine pollen to my friends and my family. And the reason being is because our agricultural soils back in the 1930s, they predicted if we keep farming the way we farm, we'll deplete our topsoil. That happened. They predicted serious health decline will ensue. And guess what? A serious health decline did ensue. So it's a combination of eating processed foods, like artificial stuff, our environmental pollutants and thirdly we're just chronically depleted in various nutrients and minerals it isn't good and it was well predicted in the 30s when the congress of the american soil association or something like that agricultural association they got together and they just said this farm these farming practices we're not rotating our crops properly anymore we're, we're doing too much monoculture and we're putting in too much pesticides and fertilizers artificial fertilizers and stuff pesticides all of a sudden so when you get something like pine pollen, this is a very high quality pine pollen that I stock in my shop. It's got generally, if you if you break the cell wall, like chlorella is a substance generally you want the cell wall broken, otherwise you don't digest properly. This has the cell wall broken and it's raw, it's uh, low temperature or very no temperature. <laughs> And this will this has been shown to increase the bioavailability of the nutrients by by an additional twenty percent. It just smells in your mouth. <laughs> I'll show you. You can like take it. I've both taken it in water, or you can take it in a juice. You can take it in a smoothie. You can take it in water. Um, I'll just open this here now. <laughs> but you can also just like eat it because it's a food. Pine pollen is actually becoming very famous. Um, for, see here we are here, I'll, I'll take a little bit will I? <laughs> this is like pretty concentrated stuff, you don't need too much to be honest, like um, a dose of like one, two teaspoons a day is pretty good, if you want you can take more. Mm. Yeah, it just dissolves like completely. Extremely smooth. If I do this, you probably notice. It's just very, very smooth. Mm. Taste. Tastes nice. I like it. Tastes a bit like pine forest or pine trees. <laughs> Another thing, if you want like superfoods, I'd recommend learning about my playlist. I'll put all this information about in my links below the video. Um, I have a video series on foraging wild foods, so stuff like dandelions, nettle, clover, cleaver, dock, thistle. These are all like natural wild superfoods, which have a lot of mineral mineral richness. So, but yeah, like pine pollen is also used um, traditionally to help people. First of all, with erectile um, dysfunction, so it'll help you like have your morning erection like a man is supposed to do. If to have like proper hormonal, it, it's it's great for your hormones. It'll like balance your hormones. Men, if you're a man or a woman, it's very good for your hormonal system. It's particularly good if you're like um, if you're menopausal as a woman, or if you're a man over the age of thirty, where men then suffer andropause, which is a decrease in male androgenic hormones. So this would symbolise like less sort of like more lethargy, like maybe less energy, less virility, vitality, less confidence and get go. The reason why a lot of us do have lower androgenic com um, hormones these days is just from really poor diet is one reason, okay? And androgenic is like 
is the opposite of estrogenic, which is like female hormones. But men and women both have male and female hormones like testosterone, estrogen or estrogen. But another reason why our um, hormones go down is because there's a lot of environmental petrochemicals and plastics around the place and coming into our food, into our, into, into our water, or we're drinking from plastic bottles and stuff like that. This will all uh, helps mimic and block receptor sites for our estrogen, and basically it decreases and um, it increases estrogen or decreases testosterone, leading in more like female like men, if you know what I mean, and less balanced females too. And soy is another thing that's in loads of food, and soy can help lower estrogen or as well, you know, lower testosterone but, or higher estrogen. This is actually very, very serious. It's very natural in our hormonal system. Another thing I like about pine pollen is it's actually, um, what was it? It's a, um, I love the look of it actually. <laughs> See? So yeah, if you, if you have the spare money, you can either get the 100 gram or the 500 gram. 500 gram is obviously more, more last longer. You don't need to have a lot because it's so potent. It's a new, seriously nutrient dense food. You'll notice a difference. I find my recovery is like faster. Um, yeah, it protects against like radiation, as I was saying earlier. I think that's everything. I think I've more or less covered a lot of stuff. So where does pine pollen come, come from? It actually comes from the pine trees. And there's two parts of the, of the, in, in the pine tree. There's the, there's the cones, which is a female um, reproduction, reproductive part. And then there's catkins, which are male, and the catkins produce a whole, every spring for around one month, beginning of spring. The catkins produce a whole load of pollen, and a lot of people collect it. They wild forage it. Um, you can still take. You need to take more of that to get what you get in this, because this is more bioavailable and bio ready to assimilate. But yeah, you just take a bit more or whatever else, and then it blows everywhere and it covers the ground in a big like golden like carpet and it's because it's nutrient dense and it helps nourish growth and it also nourishes fertility actually that's another thing in both males and females and increase sperm count so it's very good for sexual health hormones um, virility vitality recovery and again your immune system antiviral anti-inflammatory anti-aging Anti, yeah, it kills tumor cells without actually harming any of the good cells, so it's very effective that way. And just it's supposed to help your skin and your brain, your cognitive function. It's one of my favorite superfoods, to be honest. I love this a lot. So apart from detoxifying the liver, and it's great for your your hair, skin, and nails. It's also um, really good for male prostate problems so if, if your prostate is too big it'll make it go smaller if it's too small it'll make it go bigger so a lot of men have prostate issues so this is a great food and superfood and tonic herb to help you to keep prostate health so it's also been used to um naturally to help with like pain and inflammation like stuff like rheumatoid arthritis or arthritis that's another really good thing it's been used for so um, they, some people say it definitely helps with a hangover, but uh, <laughs> that's for anyone who drinks. <laughs> yeah. Some people even use it as a mask, put in a bit of paste, put it on your skin, but I haven't tried that yet. It's said also to help decrease cholesterol, so that's good if you're eating a lot of like um, non-vegan food, which is where high cholesterol comes from, So because we already make cholesterol in our body. So everyone, I'll take it again, have a look, um, give it a try. Um, this is the top quality uh, brand. It's from the best pine trees, um, Penis Messaniana or something like that. Um, it, it's broken, so you need less. It's more bioavailable. It's one thing that it also does is it's taken from the very first collection in the spring, the first amount of um, pollen that's produced. So this will produce like the best quality pollen and the most nutritional pollen. So there's no second harvest. It's the first premier premium quality harvest. So yeah, this is awesome. I love this. One of my favorite superfoods, definitely. <laughs> um, other, it's up there with the best companies. The only thing is a lot cheaper. Like a lot of other companies who are selling the premium best is a lot more expensive to be honest. This is the best at a, at a good price. So 
another reason to try it out if you have the money spare. Um, the other two best formulas that I have on my website generally for health is the Rejuvenate formula that you might want to check out. <laughs> and that's great for restoring gene, energy, power, vitality, recovery, your healing power, your genetical strength, your ability to heal and recover from the ability to cope with stress, your your just your hair, your, your hair, skin, teeth, nails quality, your bones, your bone marrow, your immune system, your cognitive function, memory, focus, recall, your sperm or, o or ovum strength, your ability to be fertile and to reproduce, your sexual energy, fatality, virility. So rejuvenate is like my number one like best herbal formula of tonic herbs. It's great for your, as I said, your hair, skin, teeth and nails. A lot of people look much better, much better in their skin, more plump, flush, moist and healthy. And I can't recommend rejuvenate enough, to be honest. It's got a, a series of powerful herbs. The other formula I think is really good is strength. It's for anyone who is like once more, like more active energy, the more qi and more yang jing. Rejuvenate is yin jing, restorative. Strength is more like get go, confidence, drive, virility, deeper sex drive, like activating your sex drive big time. And for anyone doing sports, athletics, or who wants top physical performance, it's it's very good for for muscle building, for athletes, bodybuilding, sports, and for anyone who just wants a lot more oomph in their life. But it's good to balance that with the rejuvenate if possible. Or you could at least try a single herb that is in rejuvenate, like have a good few of them, like um, like prepared romania, dendrobium, hoshiwu, shizandra, horsetail, um, ligustrum. That's just to name a few in the rejuvenate formula. So that's that's. I'll leave you with that for the moment. And um, I also stock what stock wild blueberry. Um, if anyone wants like a tasty thing to add to their smoothies, um, a wild blueberry extract to my site. But this is definitely much more potent as a medicinal and as a superfood. One last thing guys, pine pollen is famous for increasing testosterone levels. But while I was saying earlier, you get some of it in the, in the powder form. If you really want it, use pine pollen for bodybuilding purposes or like getting a real kick of like testosterone without disrupting or like damaging or weakening your own hormonal system. Pine pollen then is sold in a tincture form. You put it in your tongue, in your mouth, you just keep it there for a few minutes, like one, like maybe two, two three, four, even five minutes, and then it, the testosterone is absorbed into your body. And that's very good for people who are severely like low in testosterone, like, like maybe women in menopause who are particularly feel like affected by it. Or um, or people like bodybuilders because so, they want testosterone. This is a real natural, healthy way of getting it. Um, but as I said, it won't disrupt. This is much weaker for the testosterone than the tincture, but it still does balance and strengthen your hormonal system in that way. So, um, yeah, I don't have the tincture, but I have the powder, and I really only want and I'm interested in the powder. It's a true whole food, superfood form, superfood, powerful form. So. Um, people, me, young people like teenagers, who there's no need for them to take the tincture, but they can take this as a superfood that's safe for everybody, women, old, young, middle-aged, everybody. So I hope this video has been helpful, hope it's been informative, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave, leave it below, and I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you again in another video. Take care, this is Owen, bye.